weren't discovered. And you can just imagine just how frightening that would be to hear men come into your house with the intent to kill you and your children, trying to pray to God to protect you. But then to hear them ransacking through your belongings, playing a phonograph of a song, and then seeing that coal oil drip down from the top down to the basement so that they could set the house on fire. Only by the grace of God did my family escape that flaming house. And only by the grace of God am I here to describe it right now. Our survivors have spoken of machine guns that were used and of bombs being dropped from the air. There is an oil company here in Oklahoma that allowed rioters to use at least one of their planes. B.C. Franklin, Buck Colbert Franklin, he was an attorney. He was an eyewitness to the planes that were flying overhead. And he watched them drop turpentine balls on top of the buildings. And the buildings would begin to burn from the top down. To hear of family members being shot dead in the middle of the street for no reason. How do you process that? This was clearly not about Dick Rowland. This was a deliberate and calculated ground and air attack to destroy the Greenwood community. Our community was outnumbered and outgunned. The sheriff's department was joined by thousands of white rioters who eventually invaded and killed innocent men, women, and children. Through the streets, we all were driven at the point of sword or gun. Women, men, and little children scarcely clothing on their backs. They began to incarcerate every single African-American person in the Greenwood District. The entire population of the Greenwood community was between 10 and 12,000 men, women, and children. 6,000 people were arrested and detained at one of three internment centers in the city of Tulsa. It left their homes and businesses defenseless so that white rioters could go in and take whatever valuables they wanted and then set everything on fire. By the following day, more than 1,000 homes had been burned to the ground, more than 300 black-owned businesses completely destroyed, several thousand people unaccounted for, and we believe at least 300 people murdered. What occurred in Tulsa was the deadliest, most destructive attack on a black community in American history. Black Wall Street is completely destroyed. The Goodwin building burned to the ground. The Stratford Hotel, the Gurley Hotel, and the Dreamland Theater burned to the ground. My main thought when I see all those photographs and the devastation that everyone shows is how did they ever make it out of there? It is horrendous the way that African-American residents were murdered and their bodies left in the street. The entire Greenwood community was to live out of tents that had been distributed by the American Red Cross. And it was the first time that they had ever responded to an incident that was not caused by a natural disaster. All right, Shalawan. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, salutations to the hopefully elect. This is Ashan coming at you with another video. And um, you devil's going to pay for what you did to the Hebrew Israelites. Those uh, people 
that you continue continuously um, raped, robbed, and murdered, you know, as well as the uh, the Gadites, which are the uh, so-called Native Americans, and what you did to the, the Northern tribe, you know, the so-called um, Puerto Ricans, the Hispanics, tribes, you're going to pay, you know. And it's a cop-out because now you got these uh, devils that's going around talking about all nations. All of a sudden, now all nations can be saved. You mean all nations can be saved? So you, so y'all think y'all gonna get away with this? And this just one incident throughout history that you've been on um, Earth going around because you know. Uh, Imagine how many other, uh, you know, uh, destruction, uh, terrorist acts you did to our people on this on this side of the earth, as well as the other side, because you still didn't pay for what you did in, when you took us down in Jerusalem. You know, this is just a, a prelude to what happened um, in uh, Jerusalem, how you ransacked the temples. You came in the temples. That was a, that was just as worse. You came in the temples. You Edomites, so-called white people, came in the temples and took everything, burned Jerusalem down, chased us out. You did the same. Thing. You just kept doing it over and over again. It happened around the Greek, starting with the Greeks. That Alexander, the the the, uh, the homo, he came through, and 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 you know. Did this thing from the Greek Empire, the Hellenistic Empire, to the Roman Empire, you destroyed us, all the way up until now when the Roman Empire, the rebirth of the Roman Empire, which is America. The corporation, the United States of America, the corporation, the court. So, yeah, uh, and that's a cop out. All nations can be saved. Well, Let's let's let, I'm gonna bring out a couple scriptures, right? And let's see and, and who you who you think these scriptures are for. Let's go to the scriptures. All right, the first scripture that I'm gonna go to is Psalms chapter 49 and verse 11. It says, "Their inward thought is that their house shall continue forever, and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names." Who you think this scripture is talking about? I'm going to give you a clue. What's this land named after? Which is this land is not, you stole this land. I'm talking to you Edomites. Because we supposed to prophesy not only to our nation, but, but to, to the heathen nations as well. To tell you who you are and your judgment. Because we, we, we come out there on the highways and byways, that's judgment. The Heavenly Father sent his prophets out there. You see, we wear our robes. You see, we wear our, uh, our robes. So we, we, we the judges. We giving you your judgment through the power of Yahweh Bashem and Yahweh Shah. So I'm going to give y'all a clue. Who, who, what's this? I'm, I'm currently in Baltimore, Maryland. This is named after Edomite. Charles, uh, Cecil, uh, Charles, uh, Lord, which he's not a Lord, but Lord Baltimore. I believe it was Charles Cecil, uh, Cecil Calvert, Charles Cecil Calvert, Baltimore. And his Maryland is named Maryland, named after his, uh, his daughter or wife or something. And, uh, Maryland, Virginia, and I believe uh, Carolina, which was the same family, which we was ruling over in Europe, but the Heavenly Father had allowed you to come back in power. So you came back in power and uh, sitting in the high seats where we was at. Because prior to that, the Dark Ages, we you, you got those names from us. And I'm not going to go deep into the 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 history right about this moment on um, the dark ages. 
which I'll call it the dark ages because the so-called Negroes was ruling over in Europe. But y'all name all these names after your own names. Virginia, the Car uh, South North Carolina, Car uh, Carol, um, all the streets are named after you, these Edomites, all these streets. It's just so recently how you destroyed our people that you uh, gave some um, token Negroes some streets named after them, Martin Luther King Boulevard. And they the worst streets in, in, in the United States. Martin Luther King, it's a Martin Luther King Boulevard in every major city in the United States. And they the worst uh, drug infested territories. And you set it up that way. You know, that Jake got responsibility as well because, you know, Jake, but Jake is destroyed. You, how are we going to set a standard for a destroyed people? Here it is. You, you, you set them up, you destroy them. And they're supposed to lift themselves up by the bootstrap. But then you constantly, constantly destroying them, not giving them jobs, this, that, and the third, setting up traps. But they supposed to be set at a standard? No. These people are, are gone. These people are destroyed. That's why the Heavenly Father is going to destroy two-thirds anyway because they're too far gone. You know? They're going to have to come back in the reincarnation, in the kingdom. They too, they too far gone. You made them that way, Esau, because they was in your hands. Here it is. You got a whole people in your hands. A whole nation of people in your hands. But you holding them to a standard that you destroyed them. I could see if you was had them leveled up like how you do to other nations, you know, more more. But you wasn't a you wasn't confederate. You wasn't confederate with the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. You destroyed them. You was confederate with Moab, Moab, Ammon, all the other heathens. Shit, even the Hamites, but the. You did them dirty too. But they heathens as well. So they going to get theirs too, these goddamn Hamites, these Africans, these Egyptians. They had us in captivity over before you did. So they going to get it in the kingdom too. But they not going to get it as worse as you. You going to get yours, Esau. You got it coming. The Heavenly Father is going to destroy you, and rightfully so. But all of a sudden, all nations, here it is, the Heavenly Father going to allow you to do the top most wickedest things on earth, constantly destroy the, the children of Israel. And you know what? That's another cop, that's a cop out too, when, when, when these Edomites come on board and say, oh, all nations can be saved. In other words, they telling us we got the truth. They telling us, they telling us we got this, and Lord willing, I'm going to do a video on that. When these Edomites say all, all nations can be saved, they're not calling themselves the, the Israelites or anything. So when we find out our nationality, all of a sudden, all nations can be saved. So Lord willing, I'm, I'm going to do a video on that. But it back to the subject. You know, let's go to another scripture. Who you, you know, the Heavenly Father ain't just put these scriptures in here for any, for nothing. This is Isaiah 10 and 1. It says, woe unto them uh, that decree unrighteous decree and that right uh, grievousness, grievousness, which they have uh, prescribed all the, uh, the, you know, the court documents and all that. You know, when you write an unrighteous decree, that's a uh, that's a law, you know, uh, that's uh, legislation. That's a document, you know. And it's and, and it'd be unrighteous. It's it's. It, it's uh, to hold uh, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and your own people, and these lower class Edomites. They going through it too. So you got them in captivity as well. You know, because you got, you'll have some so-called white, oh, I'm, I'm going straight up Edomites, but they, you know, doing bad. And, and a lot of them are Jake too. So you got Edomites that look like, you got Jake that look like Edomites, and they really Hebrew Israelites. Because they lineage go back to uh, the people on a, on, a, on a chart. So you got your own, you got 
us in captivity and your your lower class in captivity, the other tribes of, of Esau. So yeah, you're gonna pay. All of y'all gonna, all these Edomites are gonna pay. You know, all these legislations set up to have you, they taking, they um, penny pension. Every time you come across a little bit of money, they they penny pension it right back out of your pocket. And that's the curses too. Uh, put, uh, and Deuteronomy's with, you know, we, Jake, we was going to get a little bit of money, but every time we're going to put our money in a bag full of holes. So that's like, if you get, say you, uh, you know, back then they had coins, coins was like dollars or whatever. This fake paper money, but we had, they had, you know, gold, silver and back then. So we had a bag and imagine you keep, imagine you filling your bag up with coins and imagine they got a hole at the bottom of it. Yeah, you might have, it might be full right now, but while you walking or you on your horse or anything, it's going to slowly fall out that hole. And then you turn around, you I just had a full bag of, uh, I just had a full bag of uh, corn, gold coins and it, it fell out. That's, that's how it is living in this society. Every time you come across a little bit of money, here it is, you getting a, a, a damn uh, letter in the mail. All these unrighteous decrees, taxes and all that. And, you know, all these unnecessary bills that you got to pay. So you're constantly giving your money out. You know, all these unrighteous. Uh, I'm going to say enough. Just just the name of fruit or just the name one child support. That's unrighteous. That's an unrighteous decree. You putting on these jakes. And you got it on your own people. Hey, the guy Jeff Bezos and all them guys, uh, you know, which they they all set up. You know, we know we know your games. They all these guys, Bill Gates and all, they all set up. Um, his uh, let's go to Obadiah. Who you think these scriptures are for, or rather, who you think these scriptures are talking about? This is Obadiah. One and I, I I like Obadiah because it gets straight to the point. This is Obadiah one. I'm I'm gonna start at one. One and one. It says the vision of Obadiah. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh concerning Edom, and Edom is still here. It's you so called white people. It says we have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. And every all these heathens uh, hate the Edomite, hate you so-called white man. They call you the, uh, the, the, the white devil. All these nations, even the ones you confederate with. Moab, um, all these dirty Hamites. You know, these Hamites can't stand you because you come over there. You you just the devil, man. And, he, and these Hamites... <laughs> Hey, the, the, the Hamite woman is just as uh, uh, ill loyal, non loyal to the Hamite man as these damn black women. Because these white men, they go over in Africa and, and be running through the, uh, them Hamite women, them nasty Hamite women. They do the same to the damn black women, too, it's, you know. But they just as worse. So I'm going to skip down to, uh, well, you know what? I'm going to read verse three. Who you think these scriptures are talking about? It says, the pride of thy heart. And you you devils are proud. I can't wait. Lord, please help. I should be all shy. Please allow me to see these damn heathens go down. Please. And I can't wait. All praises to the help. I should be all shy. Allow me to see that they face when we got them in captivity and when they locked up. They better not look at me. They better look towards the ground. They better look towards the ground. I can't wait to see their face because these devils are so proud. You see them on these jobs. You see them walking that. When we're on the highways and byways, they got they, they chin up. They just walking with that American pride. Oh, man. It says the pride of thy heart deceived thee. Thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rocks. Who else that's talking about? 
Let's read it again. Thou, thou dwellest in the cliffs of the rocks. That's you, Esau. And you still dwelling in the cliffs of the rocks. In these bit high rises and, and, and stuff. Ain't a, whose habitation is high. That saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? And you got that in your heart. You know? Though thou uh, exalt thyself as the eagle. Who is that? The eagle going around. Every time... Man, every nation, and, and, and the Heavenly Father is so great. The Heavenly Father is so great. He allowed us to understand this. Man, Esau, you going down. I can feel it now. The Heavenly Father gave us the spirit to see this truth. Oh, man, it, and, and it's encoded. And you just hate it, Esau. It's, it's, it's encoded. The eagle, you can go back to Greece. Matter of fact, before Greece, you can go back to Petra. And it's the eagle. Then you can go up to Greece. You know, you can go up to Rome. You can go through all the nations now on earth and they put that eagle on high. So let's uh, let's go. Let's go down to 10. It says for thy violence against thy brother, Jacob. What? Hold up. Hold up. For thy violence against thy brother, Jacob. Obadiah 1 and 10. Who do who you think these scriptures are talking about? Obadiah 1 and 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob. Hold on. Obadiah 1 and 10. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob. Look at this. They were forced to wear green identification badges. But the bottom it states who was responsible for them. It's a badge that basically gave them permission to be in public, to be on the streets. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob. And 300 black owned businesses completely destroyed. Several thousand people unaccounted for. And we believe at least 300 people murdered for thy violence against thy brother Jacob what occurred in Tulsa was the deadliest most destructive attack on a black community in America for thy violence against thy brother Jacob for thy violence against thy brother Jacob shame shall cover thee and thou shall be cut off forever and um, now these days, in this modern day, you know, society, you got these uh, Edomites, they're ashamed of what they did. You know, if you if you even bring up slavery or anything, they don't want to talk about it. Even you got these Uncle Tom um, Sambo, Sambo ass niggas. They uh, they rarely want to talk about it. As soon as you mention slavery. Oh, 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 oh I don't want to get into that. Oh, everybody's equal or. You know, um, that's in the past. You know, these old Uncle Tom, or or rather not, well, I'm going to say Sambo, because Uncle Tom was the, the the actual good guy. But these Sambo-ass niggas, they, they don't want to even mention it, because they, you know, they even ashamed of, they ashamed for, for Esau. How you going to be ashamed for, for, you ashamed because of Esau's shame? You know, that's why the Lord going to destroy you, you two-third sambo boot-licking niggas, man. And y'all ashamed. Y'all ashamed to talk about it. That's why they all around, they deleting uh, videos and we bring this truth out. They deleting every video, taking down brother's channel. But that's that's going to the uh, the, the the word. Um, they'll, um, the famine of the word. So let's go to Isaiah. Chapter 14 and verse 2. This is Isaiah 14 and 2. It says, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And, oh, you know what? I'm going to start at one. It says, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. Right. He's going to choose so-called black, Spanish, and Native Americans and set them in their own land. About time we're going to finally have our, we're going to get our land back because we've been taking out everywhere we fled. Esau 
like the Doug he is followed us and 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 kept bothering us. All he did was, you know, followed us, bullied us, rape, robbed, and murdered us, and destroyed us. You know, everywhere we went, he came to get. We w left out of Jerusalem. We went to, you know, it's just like a, a, a he's a bug, a, like a disease. We went to West Africa. He came there, rounded us up, and brought us over. Here. And then he 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 got into uh the Gadite, you know, Gad business. Gad was over here minding his business. Here come Esau stinking, stinking up the whole earth. Come over here and, and, and just destroy this place. This place ain't never see a rat um, or disease ever. Soon as he came, you got rats and mice and roaches and, and then there's all type of diseases. But he bringing smallpox over here. He's a damn devil. It says, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And, and, and you know this talking about the so-called, because look, we in Tokla, Oklahoma, we over there, we didn't we have our own land. We had to flee there, but we, fl we fled because that's that shows you how uh, the so-called Negroes and the uh, Native American are brothers because that trail of tears, they left the trail of tears together. That was Jacob and, and the northern tribe and the southern tribe leaving, leaving that land. So they weren't in their own land. Esau had took over this land. So we're going to finally get a land. Esau get jealous and then want to burn everything up. And Oh, and guess what? Oh, the white women, they're going to be ours too. Because the black woman is yours right now. But we're going to get the black woman back and we're going to get your woman. You know? It says... Um, and set them in their own land, and the, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. So the you know the uh, the strangers, the uh, the northern tribe and the southern tribe, gonna come back together. You know, all the other you know the Israelites, all the Israelites going going come together. The two thirds gonna come back. You know, through the elect, they gonna be righteous. It says, and the people shall take them and bring bring them to their place. Uh, okay, talking about the Edomites and the you know all the all the heathens, all the heathens. We're gonna y'all gonna y'all all right. Listen to what it says. It says, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord. Listen up for servants and handmaids. So y'all going into slavery, y'all going into captivity, y'all going to be the same du dudes that y'all had in the captivity, you're going to be his servant. You're going to have to bow down to him. All, the, all these white women, Arab women, um, Hamite women, um, Ishmaelite women, y'all going to be servants to us. Y'all going to have to bow to us. We're going to be the kings, you know? You look down on us now, but we're going to be your Lord, your master, and you're going to have to bow to us because we are the children of Israel. It says, and they shall take them captive who captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Now, what's that talking about? For all you Christians, oh, all nations can be saved. So what's this talking about? What is this talking about? For all you Christians that's talking about uh, every, everyone's going to be saved. They shall rule over that. Who's oppressing us now? Who's getting oppressed every day? The so-called Negro, Latinos and Native American. Who is oppressing them? The so-called white man. He owns everything. Come on now, it's easy. It's, it's light work. So to finish this off, uh, you know, to close this lesson down, I'm going to um, go to Revelations, the 18th chapter. And I'm going to start at six. It says, reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her, double according to her works. Y'all going to get double. Everything you did to us, we're going to do it back and some more. The Heavenly Father said, hey, you're going to get him back and you're going to get some more. That's like if somebody punch you in the face. Okay, you, you punch him back and you're going to hit him again for doing it. So it says, reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her according to her works. 
in the cup which shall uh, have filled, filled to her double. So we're going to get double, brothers. So um, I hope this lesson was, was edified. You know, all you uh, heathens are going to pay for what you did. You're not going to get away. Actually, instead of getting away, you're going to get it double. All right. So all you, oh, every nation nation can be saved. And Lord willing, I'll do another video on that. I'm going to write it. That. Um, yeah, you're not going to get out of this. Instead, you're going to get double. You know? Because I know this is this cop out for Esau. You ain't copping out this time. You're going to get double. Till again, Shalom.